In this video, I'm going to be looking at LTX Studio, which can be used for free. I'll show you how it can generate a full story and characters just from a simple prompt. And I'll show you how to use its awesome tool called Face Capture. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so let's jump straight onto the LTX Studio website. As you can see here, it says they visualize your concept and it uses AI powered visual storytelling from concept to delivery in one seamless platform. So this is great if you have a script and you want to turn it into a storyboard and it even creates your characters for you and it allows you to create videos from your images also. So let's have a look at the pricing. Now what's great is they do have a free version which I believe has everything that the paid versions have, but the only difference is that you get limited amount of computing seconds per month. So as you can see, for the free one, you get 3,600 computing seconds, and then that jumps up to 8,640 for the $8 a month version. And then it jumps a lot in the other two tiers. But I think the free one is great to get started with, and you could create multiple email accounts if you wanted to. And I like that they've got an $8 a month version, as it's a lot more affordable than the $35 a month version. Jumping onto the website, it's very easy to use. So like they say here, you can just start out with a simple prompt and they will turn it into a story and create the characters for you. Or you can give it a script that you've created and it will break it down into the scenes and add the characters in. Or you can start by scratch and create the storyboard shot by shot. And down below here are some of my recent projects. So let's have a quick look at start with an idea. And down below they actually give you some ideas. So I'm actually going to use this Crash Survivor one just to see what it creates. This is pretty cool. They actually create a title for the project and then a story overview, which is really interesting. And from here you can change the aspect ratio from widescreen to square to a portrait kind of smartphone aspect ratio. And in video style, they have tons of different styles you can choose from, which is pretty amazing. So here's a look at a few of the different styles. And as you can see, they are hugely different. So I'm sure they will have the style that will fit your story. And what's cool, you can even drag in an image of your own style, which will then make the rest of your story look the same. And you can choose cinematic inspiration. So I guess if you give it certain words, it will change the look of the images that it creates. So in the story there are two characters, Jack and Sarah, and it creates the characters for you automatically. From here you can choose to reload the character if you don't like them, and if you come to edit it gives you a lot of control on how to change your character. So you can change your character name to the age, and we have the essence, so the essence reshapes the plot of the project. So depending on what you add into here, it may change the story that they generated for you. And you have settings for appearance, you get to choose what kind of clothing they wear, and the voice. So it gives you a ton of options for different voices to use. So they chose this one, let's have a listen to that. As an organizer, I start from where the world is. As it is, not as I would like it to be. Okay, sounds pretty good. And there are loads of different ones you can choose. Are love in times of trouble. No, I don't like that one. Let's just check, so it's got 28 years old, but let's see what happens when I put 60 years old in. As you can see, it automatically changes it. And there you go, it's added in a older looking man. So let's put it back to 28. And then here you can add in a custom face, whether it's yourself or another character's face that you've generated elsewhere, you can add this in and it should make it look like the character. And we also have the female here. So let's see what happens if I press this reload button. It should just create another version. And there we go. So I've just changed the video style to standard just to see what it did and it's kind of similar to cinematic. And then from here, you can just click start and it should create a storyboard for you. Okay, so it's actually broken it up into different scenes. So I'll just show you how to navigate this page. So at the top we have scene one and this whole scene is broken up into different shots. So we have four shots here in total. Then if we scroll down the page, you can see scene two, which is another four shots. And then scene three and then scene four. Wow, there's actually quite a lot. Scene 5, there is 9 scenes in total, each comprising of a different amount of shots. Now this is pretty incredible as it just generated this all on its own. 
So as you can see from here, it gives you a description of the scene, the location, the lighting which you can change as well, and the weather. And you can add in voiceover as well, which will be playing over the scene. From here, in each shot, you can see the prompt that it used to generate the image, the shot type, which you can change here. So they have a bunch of different angles to choose from, character dialogue, which you can add in, and sound effects. So from here, you can go into Shot Editor, and from here, you can either use that image, you can upload your own image, so if you made a image in, say, Mid Journey, you can add this in here, or a photo, and we have Canvas, which I'll get into shortly. So this, you can generate an image by drawing it on the screen. And we also have Generative Fill, Remove Objects, and Camera Angle. So Generative Fill will replace a part of the image, Remove objects will obviously remove the object, and camera angle will change the camera angle of the shot. Now here we come to the motion settings. So here we have three different motion settings. So we've got scene motion, which is very minimal, then natural, and extreme. And if we come down to advanced, we can change the frames per second, and we can change the duration of the video. And you can do sound effects. So I'm gonna add in a sound effect to this shot. I'll add in forest. And it should drop down with a menu containing different sound effects related to forest. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to go with that one. I'll go with six seconds for this one. So I've got natural motion. You can choose to do camera control. You can do different panning, zooming in, and whatnot. Or you can do keyframe. So keyframe, you give it a start frame and a different end frame and it will transition from that start frame to the end frame. So you can either take the shot, crop in a bit, and put it as the end frame, and then it would look like a zoom in shot. Or you can add something completely different, and it would morph into that image. But for this one, I'm just gonna go with natural motion. I've got it on as six seconds, and I've got that sound effect on, and click generate video. And it gives you four previews of kind of low resolution videos. So I'm just going to go for this one down here. They're all very similar. And then it will create a higher res version of it. Okay, so let's check it out. That looked pretty good, actually. And with the sound effect of the forest in the background, it sounded really good. Then from here, you can even choose to extend the duration. And you can download that clip. And to go back to the storyboard, just click on this storyboard tab up here. We have these settings up here as well. So we've got project settings. At any point, you can change the style of your project and change certain settings there. You get a quick look at the cast. You can add in characters. You can add in a soundtrack. You can either upload your own track or search one that they have in here. And here you can choose the voiceover settings. So you can choose your character's voices and you can have a narrator, which could be a completely different voice from the characters. Then with the narration for that scene, you can add it in here. So you just add in the text that you want to go over the top of this whole scene. I never thought I'd find myself in a situation like this, surviving a plane crash in the middle of nowhere. Now let's have a look at animating a character. So this is the second shot in the first scene, and it has our character Jack just sitting in the wreckage, looking a bit downbeat. So what I'm actually going to do is come down to motion, and I'm gonna go into character. So from here, you can use a video of a face or your own recording to animate the character's face, or you can add in dialogue. So let's just try out the character dialogue first. So I've just put in a bit of text. Let's listen back to it. What happened? How the hell did I survive this? Okay, that sounds pretty good. And then from here, you can choose to generate video. So this is the video it created with that text in it. What happened? How the hell did I survive this? That looks pretty good, actually. Now I'm going to use my webcam to record my face to animate the character. This will use my own voice, so I'm recording it using a microphone, which I can add into the video after. So you can either record yourself using your mobile phone and add it into here, or if you've got a webcam, you can use it here. So you just have to make sure they're 30 seconds or shorter. All right, so I've got my webcam set up and they say to keep a neutral expression and keep your head centered and avoid moving your shoulders while recording. So 
all you have to do is click on record. It will give you a three second countdown. And just try to be expressive with your face. So first I'll try a test one just with moving my eyes around and trying different expressions. Okay, so this is a test. I'm just going to look around. Try different facial expressions. How does this look? And once you've got your recording, just click on apply. And I'm just going to get rid of that text, otherwise it will add it onto it. And click on generate video. Okay, so let's have a look at it, but with my recording. Okay, so this is a test. I'm just going to look around. Try different facial expressions. How does this look? All right, I think that looked really good. It did the expressions really well. The only problem is sometimes I notice in LTX Studio that the background stops animating after a few seconds. So if you watch it, as you notice, the background is moving. And then after four or five seconds, it just stops and it becomes static. Now, this isn't the end of the world, as you can just kind of do shorter clips. But yeah, it's just something that I've noticed. So I'll do the same thing again, but I'll record the lines that I used before. What happened? How the hell did I survive this? That looks pretty good. And yeah, I'm noticing around the three second mark, it just stops doing the background. Now let's have a little look at the share function. So from here you can share your project, create a pitch deck, or you can export it as an XML file so you can add it into your video editing software like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve so you can continue editing from there. Or you can download the whole video from here. Now let's have a quick look at the canvas feature. So let's start with clicking on canvas. And with this, you get to draw whatever you want in this area and then describe it in this prompt box below. And it should generate the image on this box on the right. So let's just do a test. And as you can see, it will just start to kind of generate an image as you draw it. Now it is quite hard to draw with the mouse, but if you have a tablet, you can use that. So here you can see I've just done a simple wavy line and put in an epic landscape and it generated this image. Then if you want, you could probably add more things into it. So if I want like a little mountain there, big one there. As you can see, it's added it into the image in real time. So that's pretty cool. And then from here, you can click on Enhance, and it will just add a bit more detail. And then from there, you can just click Apply, and it will add it to your project. Now I'm going to look at how to create a story using images that were created outside of LTX Studio. So I wanted to make a quick video from these images I created in Midjourney. All I had to do was create a new blank project and I uploaded each image into LTX Studio. So in total I've got two scenes, six images are in the first scene and five images are in scene two. And from here then you can choose to animate your images and add your own voices to them. So I went through and I recorded myself on my webcam to give voices for each character. And then as I wanted to make each character sound unique, while I was recording the webcam footage, I also recorded myself with a mic at the same time. And then I took my voice recordings into Eleven Labs and changed them for each character. So with this method, you can either export it as a video just to have the original audio that you recorded, or in my case, I exported an editing package, which I then took into Premiere Pro and added in those extra voiceovers that I created. And this is the result. Someone ate my special sandwich. I'll find out who did this. So, yeah. Apparently, it was Jem. Yeah, it was me. And it was disgusting. I know what you did, Jim. You're fired. Do you know what the worst thing is? He threw it in the trash. As you can see, it works really well with images that are created outside of LTX Studio. So don't feel like you have to create everything inside of their software. You can always bring in your own images. 
Okay, so we've reached the end of this video, and you should definitely give LTX Studio a try. And as they've got a free option, it's a no-brainer. If anyone has any comments, please leave them down below, and feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you would like to check out one of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.